We had a scenic 55 minute drive from Big Sky, Montana to West Yellowstone, also in Montana. It is the gateway to the western entrance to Yellowstone National Park, and it's the quintessential western tourist town. It has the feel of a town developed in the 1970s and is unapologetically the same yet today. It's stocked with lots of souvenirs, cowboy hats, and a true sense of the indomitable Western spirit. So we are in Yellowstone, <laughs> and it is really cool. It's very beautiful. Looks a lot different than Rocky Mountain National Park. We have not yet seen any bison or bear or any animals other than one deer, but we're very hopeful we're going to go see those soon. So uh, we'll try to capture some of the, uh, the beauty of it and show you. Fountain paint pots sit on the western side of Yellowstone, just off the Grand Loop, and consist of a one-half mile boardwalk navigating itself through a geyser field. The pots are surrounded by muds of red, yellow, and brown, with several different shades of pools, including the blue pots, which are the hottest. Fountain Geyser is the largest of several geysers in the area, and because of their frequent eruptions, you are almost always treated to a good show. The surrounding hot springs force gases up through the earth to give it an otherworldly feel. Can you hear that? Given the opportunity, one should always stop and pick the flowers. A quote by 21st century philosopher Angela Davis. Just past the paint pots on Grand Loop, you encounter Fire Hole Lake. It's the largest hot spring in the area. Large amounts of warm water bacteria give it an unusual brown color. Any one-day trip to Yellowstone must have a stop at Old Faithful. Discovered in 1870, it's named for its frequent and predictable eruptions, now numbering over a million since Yellowstone became the first national park in 1872. It erupts, on average, every 74 minutes and puts off a grand show for an average of three minutes. Like Niagara Falls or the Grand Canyon, Old Faithful is a true American icon. We headed back to our accommodations, buoyed by the beautiful surroundings, but somewhat disappointed by the lack of wildlife sightings, until...
in case you might have forgotten, we're flying in a freaking private jet. How cool is this? Our friend's jet is the perfect combination of technology and comfort with an outward appearance that caught folks' eye at every stop along the way. James Bond wishes he could fly around in a plane like this. And after traveling like this for a few days, I gave in to the urge to order my gin and tonic, shaken, not stirred. Subscribe and like. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Let's go again. We did it. Okay.